We said areas and then we made sure we hit them that night and try and get three, four done, go to another rooftop or something, go and hit some little bush bomb. Mm. It, it wasn't hard. It was it was fun. It's what we wanted to do. We got a buzz out of it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's like, for me now, like, it's just nice. Smoke a spliff. We get a nice chill. Do you know what I mean? When I was real young, I weren't blazing hard then, so... That was our buzz, I guess, isn't it? Were you a lot more aggressive back then? Um, I was possibly, yeah. But then I got my come comeuppance. I believe in karma. I was a little shit, but it definitely come back my way. So I what just went. Killer Killer Official dot com. Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Fox created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. One, two, one, two. Yo, inside the press. Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, as central as you want. Could be, should be, want to be. You don't want to be anywhere else, God damn it. Big shout out to all the sharers and carers, people around the world checking it out, because it ain't just UK, it's all over this shop. 430 plus whatever episodes, there's about to be some people out there that know what time it is. Like yourselves, if you've got the Television Street Culture app, it's free download. iPhone, Android. If you've got your mini mixes, you've got your big docs, you've got your little docs, you've got the tourist podcast that kids love to hate. Big it up. Inside the house. You know what time it is. It's graffiti time, and my guy has been doing it for a hot minute. North Weezy's finest, I swear to God. Son, it's Atom CTR in the building. What are we saying, my What's brother? Going on, brother? How are you doing? You all right? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Man. To, to have a conversation with you is it's just so vast, you know, like you, you've got such a worldly view on things and the fact that you, you know, you come up from a music aspect as well as the graph as a street art, there's, there's a whole world of like atom out there, bro, like... A little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. We try, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like to keep entertained. I kind of feel like, like this podcast is mostly directed at the likes of you and other, you know, huge followers in, in the podcast, but you know, it's... It's one of those things where if you were to kind of put a visual aspect, almost like a, an avatar, you're definitely one of the characters that mm. I think it best appropriates, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on? What's happening, my brother? Nah, things all right, man. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, just putting the grind in, still working, yeah. still enjoying life, you know, trying mm. to keep on top of things. Mm. Can't complain, really, bro. Yeah, that's one I must say. For those of you who are watching and not listening, um, I am holding... Uh, a beautiful piece of work courtesy of Atom. Mm. Uh, full colour um, portrait style with the letters, the formidable letters of the man himself wrapped around with electric thunder, lightning bolts and all that good stuff. Um, sick. Uh, your, your, your technique and style, brother, it, it never faltered, did it? Like, it, you know, where these influences come from? Like, just looking at this alone, it's just like, nah, this has definitely got its North Weezy we yeah, uh, connections. It's... 100% northwest, isn't yeah. it? That's where we brought up. We stuck there like hermits for a little while and then got educated in the squat. So we uh, grew our wings and spread out a little bit then. But yeah, nah, we're influenced by the north, north writers, definitely. Who were the ones? Who were the ones that were coming up at the time? Cause, uh, Boy, when I was time. younger, coming through, I lived in uh, West End and Estate. So uh, back then you had, uh, oh dear, had a little spot in there. So Did you there, go around there? Nah, nah, oh, I was young. I was young. Right. It was one of those ones that we used to save up money and go and knock on the door and try and buy some pens or something just to obliterate the block that there was all in. Just so you got your name up there. Yeah, yeah. we weren't no good. We got caught. <laughs> got caught young, you know. But uh, yeah, them boys really was inspired. My boy Kano, God rest his soul, now he passed away. He uh, peace. got me into the hand styles and then that was it. Oh. Moved on from West Enden, Grand Park, Burnt Oak. Uh, Arnold's Grove, been about still. So, do, do, you, you... We moved, moved, obviously, with the family. Each yeah. time I moved to another area... We was just... squatting part of the lifestyle that you, you, you grew up with? Squatting only become as the raving, really, the drum and okay. bass, isn't it? Okay. When we was, like, 16, it was, like, Saturday night, phone the line, bag of pain. Just go and enjoy ourselves, isn't it? Stuff. it. It just sounds so romantic, the whole mm. idea of just, like... That all immersive life and London as well, like it's you know, for me as an outsider, that's just like gold. Yeah, no, nah, it's nice. It was we, we were lucky in it to yeah. have that vibe still. Yeah, what was the raves like back in the day? 
what, squat parties yeah. then? Yeah, they were giving it. Canning Town, Hackney Wick. Yeah. Carpenters Road. It was a proper little mission. You know, you've got to remember, we was only like 15, 16, running around on the underground, like getting from A to B, go to Waterloo, get a phone number, then from there you dispersed. But yeah, no, it was, it was big still. Met some good friends, do you know what I mean? Met Spat there. Mm, big up Spat. A lot of graphers there. So yeah, there's too many to mention. But mm. yeah, no, it was good times, man. Yeah, big Don't up, big up, it. big up, tickers as well because you know we had a wicked, uh, a wicked uh, uh, conversation of these particular times uh, as it goes. And something that really holds holds true is is that these times when squat raves, when um, street culture was at its prime like that, there was different genres, different influences, but there was all it was all coming, all immersive, all coming at you. Mm. Uh, do you forget what day it was, what time it was, what? Yeah, what... It all just merged into a. <laughs> Era like it was that era, do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, of course, it was Daisy, very mm -hmm. Daisy. <laughs> yeah, alcohol induced, even though we shouldn't have been drinking, but yeah, mm. it's what it is. Mm. Have no regrets, you know. No, I always feel like don't try at home, but alcohol suits the younger, the younger than you because you know, as you get older, that shit never works. So. Nah, it's the complete opposite when yeah. you get older. I've been chasing that shit for ages. Mm. That's kind of the thing with raves, well, well, past ravers at least, you know, they they, they get that the, there's this kind of psychological warp. I mean, not time warp, but it's just this feeling, I guess, that that time passes them and in their mind they don't age, but the truth is is that the whole world's moved forward and they just can't get out of that cycle mm. that they started in. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Do you think that's the case with Graf? Do you think there is that kind of feeling sometimes that it's a, it's a, a bit of a psychological time warp where it's just habitual, you want to just keep doing it? And yeah, it's... I, did, I did have a time out. Obviously, always sketching, and obviously, we're not doing illegals anymore. Man, it's just doing a little paint with the boys and mm. keeping it in. But uh, I had a time out when we did the music, so it did stop. Obviously, I had a child, and then all of a sudden, my might call it a midlife crisis. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're back in it, people are calling, I'm seeing fresh things from him, but I didn't know he's doing it again. Mm. So, yeah, I don't know. You're just you're, you're battling with your team, isn't it, really? Once mm. you see them do something, you want to do it again. So it does become timeless. And mm. You are, like, just trapped in a rut of mm. just keep graphing and mm. just evolve. Do you think a lot of people... Do you reckon the younger generation, uh, is it part of the youth culture? Do you think graffiti is revered in the same way, perhaps, it was when we were younger? No, I don't think it is anymore now. So, no. Back then, it was it was raw, and it it yeah. went from tagging was was what it was all about. Now you can uh, you can build your profile up on the internet and mm -hmm. then progress from there. Where mm -hmm. back then you had to show what area you was in, when you was there. Do you know what I mean how much obliterated all you lot all did, and mm -hmm. yeah, it all went from damage. And mm -hmm. I don't think it's like that now. A few of the young girls are still going hard, mm -hmm. but yeah, no. Nah. I feel it's evolved a little bit more. It's changed a little. It's not, yeah. It's not that it's not dead because it's more popular than ever. This is what Across says, actually. Big up Across. Because it is popular, it's, but it's it's just received and put across in a different way, isn't it? Well, it's pushed different now. It's yeah. through, through the World Wide Web. It weren't like that. Mm. You had to buy magazines and see if you had something in there. You didn't know how... Uh, do you know what I mean? Now you've got connects where you go to the magazine and say, look, put all that in there. Mm. It's, it's, it's more open, which is better to put, uh, push yourself, but yeah, it just mm. seems the fun has gone, in it? Mm. You want to be recognised. And fast track, it's always this fast tracking of getting to the end goal first without actually learning your craft. Mm. Well, yeah, it does it? help, obviously, but you can tell people that are uh, fast tracked in it nowadays. Yeah, you really can. You really can. You can tell the difference, can't you? Um, CTR to me, and I, I I speak fondly on this because I know when we've you know hung out or gone painting or you know been in proximity, I always end up getting on the subject with you guys. One of you guys about the D and B era, the DJ and the collective, the way in which you guys moved within the music scene as well. Yeah, yeah, we just kept our fingers in it, big up sats. Yeah, old tight sats. Fatality. Absolutely. Resistance famo. yeah, now we had fun. Wicked writer as well, really. He is, man. Proficient, he really is. good. Tight as fuck, man, really, really good writer. But uh, yeah, now we had a little vibe with Resistance famo. We still do music, make tunes here and there, but nothing, like, it's, it's a hobby. It always was, mm. anything come out of it was a bonus, you know, so 
I enjoyed the ride, bro, but mm. I'm always on to the next mission, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, now nah, we, we did, we vibes, resistance fam, mm. Mm, yeah, you kind of memories when you talk about it, like. <laughs> well, let's get into them memories because I mean, you were showing me stuff on the phone before we came. We had a chat before we understand. Um, um, you know, you were showing me, uh, you know, people in the area, people in London, people that you you were working with in cahoots with and done stuff with. And it just brings back so many memories. It's almost like a time warp of whether you see a tag or whether you hear a tune or whether you smell a scent. It's like these times, are like mm. seeing brings you right back to the moment. It's yeah, the best, man. ain't it? It is, bruv. I do best. like them, man. We reminisce on that. Yeah, yeah, But we can make loads more moments now, you know? It's, it's endless now. Yeah, it really is. It really is. Let's get into the moments. Let's get into the moments of uh, North West London for a bit. And uh, how was it growing up for you? North West London? Mm. Yeah, it was good, bruv. It was good. It was fun. I wouldn't advise it to everyone, but, yeah, we was uh, a little unit running around North London doing our thing. Mm. Drinkers, partiers, weekends, school f- flopped up from school a little bit, but you know, we're here to fucking do our bits. But yeah, no, North London was all right still, man. Mm. Yeah. Used to paint out in the, in the day out of school? Well, yeah. From about 15 to 16, school kind of went diminished a bit mm. with bunking and this and that. Meeting Alma at top of Burnt Oak and going out to Rice Lip to go and get our paint and then from on go Northern Lion Finchley at the evening and Miller East and but yeah it was just just a little mission every day was a mission and then until we got caught by either our parents or the teachers locked us down really? it's like oh, back onto the next one mm. but yeah no it was it was cool had good times mm. I went to uh, Bishop Douglas uh, first year and that's where I met got to mm-hmm. and. Um, we had some good times with him, met all the Finchley lot, the Highgate lot. And then unfortunately he passed away. Mm. Through that we met Tees. Ticker's always been around. I've known him from the area, so he's always been around. Mm. Alma, Ems, God bless his soul. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's a load that have dropped it as well. Yeah, there's a load that's dropped in there. Even more nowadays, it's yeah. gone manic, but yeah, yeah. what can we do? That, man. Yeah, yeah, rest in peace, Tees got to um Ems. Yes, yeah, Kano, definitely, yeah, Kano, man. For All the boys. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, some... But yeah, that North London was exciting. Never a dull moment with us lot. No. I mean, there's always something. We've always pissed someone off or <laughs> winding someone up or go and get a chase off him. But yeah, nah. What is it about Golden North Weezy, man? What is it about North Weezy in the graphics? It just seems to me like it just keeps on, keeps on bringing like yeah, nah, this... real dons. It has been. They're still coming up now, like so. You definitely can't knock it. I don't know. It must be sank in the water, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. Or the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I want to big up cider. It's a fella name because obviously, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, hold tight, hold tight. Uh, yeah, do you, do you hang out much? Do you, do you, do you yeah. guys see each other? Yeah, man, we got a nice bond in it. That's yeah. the main thing. Yeah, I love you know, that. When it comes down to it. Yeah. But yeah, now it's as much as I can in it. He's got a little girl now, so happy beautiful. days. Yeah, beautiful. Big up my daughter, Kyla Rose. Mm-hmm. Dude, what's it like having a kid when you, uh, you know what I mean? What, what does, how does that change everything? How does that change? Quickly. Really? But you don't realise it as well. You mm. know, one of them ones. Like, you think, you know, you have a child, you just wish for them the older, this, that and other. But then next thing you know, that moment's gone. And you're wishing for them out of them subtle times. Like, what? Kids grow up in it. My daughter's... 12 going on 13 this year, so yeah, I'm in a nice place, man. I've got to, got to keep on her. <laughs> wait, 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 if she was so, you know, I'm going to go out graphing, like, you know, when she's older. Kind of, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm easy, man. Really? I'm easy with that, yeah. Even though I, you know the pitfalls and what? But then it would be different. She can go out painting with me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's true. I don't want to hear that she's doing all of that training. No, she doesn't have to. Yeah. I did the hard work that she don't have to, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, because it's an organism, it grows, and now there's the safe space for graph where before, well... It's... Yeah, it's more of an expression now, isn't it? Yeah. When you go out to do, do art or something, it's more art than it was graffiti then. Yeah. But... Do you think, how hard was the pressure in graph back then to attain those reaches, like, go track size, go train bombing, like, for you? Like, how, how much... How how hard was the the push on that, especially as being right. in a crew collective? We just areas. We said areas, and then we made sure we hit them that night and try and get three, four done. 
go to another rooftop or sat in, go and hit some little bush bomb. Mm. It, it wasn't hard. It was it was fun. It's what we wanted to do. We got a buzz out of it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's like for me now. Like it's just nice smoke a spliff. We get a nice chill. Do you know what I mean? When I was real young, I weren't blazing hard then. So that was our buzz, I guess, isn't it? Were you a lot more aggressive back then? Um, I was possibly yeah. But then I got my come come up and so I believe in karma. I was a little shit, but it definitely come back my way. So I what just happened. Went, no, nah, nothing bad. Just you get into the wrong, get into the wrong shit, and shit happens. The next minute you get in a uh, rush, jump, whatever, and it all oh, fucking yeah, happens yeah, at yeah. times, bro. Yeah. But you live and you learn, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. That's it's that. easier said than done sometimes, isn't it? Because you get caught up in it. Yeah, it is. Well, you just need to try to get out in it. That's the main thing. Yeah. If you're caught up in that shit, you just need to separate yourself from it. What's the craziest situation you've ever been in? In what way? In in where it all is definitely on top, and you, you know, even in a graph sense. Craziest. It's not really crazy. Uh, that, that one was quite a time. We was at Arnold's Grove. Me got to and Torms, and I lived at two blocks. You know, mm. next to the yard. Mm. We're drinking all night. Been out shoplifting. Got all our brews, and we're drinking, explaining how parents don't understand us, etc., etc. Early hours, it must have been about three, four, and we are smashed now on the stairs. <laughs> Looking down, and we could see the, all the trains. It's like, shall we just see if we can get in? At least get in. Yeah, yeah. Like a dickhead. So we've got in, and we're in the trains, running around inside. It's just fun. We've got no pain. Next minute, the fucking uh, stewards are all coming out, fucking orange coats. We were so smashed. Basically, it just become every man for theirself. I've run, woke up, woke up the next day, smashed. Uh, I was wearing all white as well, covered in oil on my bed. But Tormzy and Got To just weren't there, and it didn't hear for them for about four or five days. No Obviously, way. we ain't got phones, social media. We're young then yeah. to find out that they got nabbed. Just, just fucked up, bro. In it, you know, for nothing. We was pissed in it. Wanted Honestly, to see you were if... in your bed. You didn't even no, remember how you got home. No, yeah, I was so smashed. I. Climbed over the fence or the barbed wire, my clothes were all cut up, full of oil, pure white. It would just looked a state, really. But uh, yeah, I got away. I've always been quite lucky, really, man, through incidents. Like, really? Yeah, touch wood. The golden parachute, you can, you kind I of. I just know when to run, isn't it? Or hide, mm. one or the other. Like, there's. That's it. What's the feeling when there is a trackie or something coming towards you? Like, that's, that's got to be a well, really. Yeah. When we're young, do you know what I mean? They still, they're towering you then, isn't it? Yeah. So it's, you go for it, isn't it? Or if there's enough of you, you try and betray that you're going to stand your ground and yeah. therefore you just exit as quick as you can. Mm. Yeah, it's nah, You don't want to get caught, though. I don't know. I've never been in a situation where it's been like you've got to lash out or nothing. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's worth it, really. Do yeah. something like that, just run. Yeah, yeah, just run because yeah. that's the calmest. So you get an up, another charge on another charge on another charge. It's yeah. like, whatever. Yeah, you end up right. You caught me, fair enough. Yeah. But you ain't. <laughs> <You've been laughs> but you didn't. Yeah, you never been caught. I've I got raided a couple of times, but yeah, NFAs for graffiti. Mm. Yeah. What's the family feel at the time? What were they just like, whoa, no. Well, I've, it's went from that to that, so it's uh, mm. went from one brother to another. So yeah, <laughs> we just dealt with it. We just yeah. dealt with it. Uh, that, that, that intrigues me, like, that. Almost like it becomes like a family tradition. I mean, make no mistake about it. Like your mum and dad, you bre they bred graffiti dons. Well, yeah, <laughs> Do you I know wouldn't what I mean? say like, they were happy about it. But <laughs> they weren't happy about the donisms, but they they <laughs> you know, like the stress you've caused us and yeah. all that now. But yeah. yeah, like that. It's rare that it runs in the family like that. He was just from a young age. He's only four years younger, so from a young yeah. age he had Alma Hocus back in the day. We we're all in the room sketching. Mm chatting our ideas and he's just there soaking up like a sponge oh, so God, that's good it's good but then what, what, <laughs> what did i expect like don't expect that unless i'd fucking love that i mean it's part of the it's it, it's it's that's history in itself i don't know many families that have got two writers in them i mean zon can teach they they're cousins aren't they or something to that effect and who's shoe two oh um 
Yeah. Comment below. Comment yeah, below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know. Let me know. I is, swear, I always thought they were brothers. This is where the weed gets the better of us. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, oh, you got me thinking. Who else is out there that, that really embodies that from a brotherly sibling side? Yeah, now you've got me as well, bro. I'm trying to think, put me on the spot on that see? one. One of a kind, see? One of a kind. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, um, do you go to the raves, then go painting? That's what you're saying? You'd go. Well, no, 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 no. When I was hitting the raves, there's no time for painting. You know, being on mm. road, it's like you're getting back at stupid o'clock. Yeah. And then you need to defrag yourself, like after all that music and all that, you're still yeah. pinging. Yeah. So, no, nah, a lot of painting didn't happen when I was uh, hitting the raves. Mm. But then I had a good time then as well, it's Atomic Tempo, so yeah. they're still always bringing in the atom, you know? Yeah. The molecule. Atomic Tempos. The, uh, a lot of people use that. They use the, the, the drinking and the partying as a mask to do the painting. So almost like it gives them a, an extra level of... Mm. Well, the courage. scotch is involved with it because you go out and that was just... The main thing, but yeah. obviously when we got into performing, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's, I don't know. The last thing I want to do is go painting after I've just oh, done, done a, a set and run a room two or so. It's like, oh, allow me, man, I'm <laughs> done for the day. We don't know the next three months until the next dance comes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's like a five-day hangover or something. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. 100%. I think it kind of validates it, though, like you're, you're, you're a DJ slash producer, sound system, whatever. But then you're a graffiti writer as well. You know what I mean? That's some fucking... But it was rare for its time, I think. It wasn't yeah, a lot of people think it's a, To me, it just feels like a natural talent, bruv. Like, yeah. genuinely, I like to draw and I like to put words together, in it. Yeah. So, win-win, innit? It's yeah, just yeah. like, if it's a rarity, then I must be blessed, innit? Yeah. But other than that, I'm, I'm going to take it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and by which point, I must add, that you, you do events, you do collaboration. I feel like it's new anyway. Something happened over lo lockdown, I think, with you, Atom, where, like, you got very conscious of the things you were putting your time into. Mm. Well, were we right in thinking? It's like your, your graph elevated to the more of a street art, comp more composition-based stuff, right? Well, yeah, I still mainly do letters yeah, when I course. do spray paint. But, but like this, for instance, if you're yeah, well, watching Yeah, well, lockdown listening, you know, come and I thought, fuck badass. it, I'm going to get a pro, I'm going to get an Apple iPad, mm. got Procreate, started doodling, it just starts creating from there. Mm -hmm. Like, and, what well, we're three years in now and I'm still doing the Procreate, done a couple of prints, do you know what I mean? I've pushed it myself, you know, a little wheeler dealer vibe. Mm. It's working, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So I'm, there's nothing to change, just keep being positive, keep being happy and doing what I like, isn't it? Yeah, bro. What's the Procreate saying? Because Procreate is a software system on the iPad, by the way. Other people do, do their sketches on there to kind of modify it and then go paint it on the wall. <sighs> It's evolved, in it? Really? Like, even paper graphers are joy for the Procreate style. Yeah. It's a good thing, man. It's fucking sick. Yeah, I've got Procreate as well. I've got that more recently. I, I, I good for it. not taking down all the trees, man. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, true that. It's the last thing you need. Um, and you do a lot of events down, well, exhibitions now, like Bourne well, Wood and places like that, right? Well, I am... Um, there's Chloe's Pie and Mash in Barn Wood where uh, they actually sell my pictures at the moment, like throughout the day. Sick. But they've uh, approached me and they want to do like a, a pop up exhibition, art exhibition, like with a weekend of evenings. So, uh, yeah, we're just in uh, planning it at the moment. But, uh, yeah, no, I think it'll definitely happen, man. Yeah. We've got a date. Obviously, I'm not going to let nothing cough you out. No, I mind your business, you lot. Uh... Can't jinx it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm looking forward to it. It's a nice little journey. Mm. Yeah, and we have to do something there. We've got to, man. We've oh, definitely, to. Bob. Definitely. It goes without saying. Do you, do, you, do you feel like there's more of a responsibility now, like, as an elder? I say that lightly, because mm -hmm. I'm older than you, bro. <laughs> yeah. But as an elder, like, I feel the same sort of way sometimes, that to pass the gauntlet on to people and kind of, on a level of expose, like, widen the approach to how you paint to show people what can be done. Yeah, well, I, I do it originally for myself, innit? Anything that comes out of it is a bonus. Mm. Like, I mean, I don't think... If someone is inspired by what I do, um, that is job done, mate. That is mm. a good thing, you know? 
So then I guess, yeah, it's pass on the baton mm. to people that want to be like, or creative like me, mm. not be like me. Do you know what I mean? No one wants to be like me, I'll tell you that now. Mm. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I know just, the feeling, but yeah. I know the feeling. <laughs> we, we, we all have days, don't we? Yeah, yeah, I was telling you my days before we started. We'll get into that. That's, a, that's another financial stronghold they got me in. But um, who influences you now? Because, you know, again, going back to the Procreate, uh, era, should we say, in the, the internet and being able to see and you know absorb everything. What, what, who influences you in this you know second heyday that you're in? Boy, the, the team really who were around, didn't it? The mm. team's pretty big, like all the roller boys, man. They was they've been a few of them been graphing way longer than I have. Do you know what I mean? The axe, the mm. slam, the crocs, and Taze mm -hmm. crying. Wow, yeah. Yeah, nah, they've been doing it a hot minute, but yeah, they, they, all the team inspires me, bruv, innit? They're all keeping us, like, working. Someone will pop off something. Mm. But, yeah, anything creative, man, do you know what I mean? I'm easily pleased, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? If I like that, I'm like, yeah, I like that. Because you're great with characters as well, right? I mean, Yeah, I do do a few characters. Yeah. I don't go too, too crazy, I know. Too mad, just kind of a little twist here and there, do you mm. know what I mean? Make it my own. Mm. You do. When we painted Carnival, that was a fucking banger. That, that was, was a good day, man. That was a great day. You know, we was right on that corner of, if you guys know Notting Hill Carnival, we was on the corner there, big up tickers, of course, because um, I was next to him the whole time. And, you know, he's, <laughs> he's got a gravitational pull to a lot of yeah. things, just like kickers, you know. He's energy. <laughs> energy crew. And it was just perfect, wasn't it? It was just, you know, really captured the... You know, you just stand in the corner. You capture the essence, you know? Yeah, no, nah, big up Foxton's as well, man. Mm. Good people they are, I must say. Yeah. yeah, that was a good day, man. Yeah. We caught good vibes off that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Could have got a few more work from the other shops, but, yeah, they want to just play the game next it's, time. It's They'll board them up, like, we'll, we'll continue it. Yeah, 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 to be continued. But I love the, you know, the tribute to Grenfell, which we, you know... Yeah, no, it was nice. It was nice, definitely. Obviously, uh, got another job a little while ago from Foxton's Peckham. Mm, nice. And they wanted to incorporate their car. You know, see the Foxton's car? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, got a few of the boys down there, Spat, Sats. Yeah, it looked really good, man. I'm happy with it. It's always hard with the corporate side of things, isn't it, to try and, yeah, pin well, down. I was like, yeah, I'll put my name there and it might stay there. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got whatever at on with a Foxton's logo in the middle. No, it was nice, man. It looks good. Pinning the corporates down can always be a little bit hard, but once it, you know, once you got them, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like, yeah, man. You're getting paid for your art is, is you know, it's what rare. What did you ask for, innit? Yeah. I know. I still pinch myself when I wake up. Like, <laughs> is this happening, or am I just like? Yeah. Do you work every day for your art now? Is that? Is well, it I thing? just do some drawings. You know, what it's like we all hit walls, innit? Yeah, of course. It's like same with writing lyrics. You, your, your vibes in. All of a sudden, you can't put two words together. Mm. So I take a break and I try, might move on to something else or spend a bit of time on the Procreate. Maybe if that's not working, go and do a bit of painting with the boys. It'll bring the vibe back. You get inspired by what something you see. And the circle starts again, like... Man, it's like a real lifestyle thing, isn't it? It can be, yeah. You know, it's what we make it in it at the end mm. of the day. But you literally have to really f um, force yourself into an uncomfortable place to get yes. freed up, don't you? Yeah, kind of. Put yourself in that slump to push yourself. But sometimes you, that slump, is that can kill everything. Yeah. Because you've got to push yourself into it thinking, and then you need to get yourself out. That's yeah. the hard bit. Yeah, getting out of that. But then also knowing that there's other variables happening, like family life, like you know, monetary, you've got to Make the income, but it's it's like you can't get any water out of a well that ain't full. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you think you got to figure it out? I think that's the hardest bit for artists, isn't it? What the next step? Where Getting that, yeah, yeah, leverage to the next bit. Right, it is yeah. That's where the uh, creative side comes into it. That's when you see if you can do it or if you can keep up with it or. It's always the next, people want to see the next. Not what you've just done, mm -hmm. the, what's the next project? Yeah. I don't even fucking know the next project myself, innit? Really. We'll get there when we get there, innit? Yeah, that's pretty free-spirited, innit? Yeah. That's the way it should be. That's well, the idea. It make, makes me humble, innit? Just yeah. be humble about it. Yeah. Could be worse. Yeah. You are extremely humble with it. If you ever met this guy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
So the future, my friend, is most definitely in the hands of uh, exhibitions, going out and painting, mix matching, doing as much different things to keep each plate spinning in the air. 100%, 100%. Like I say, we've got this pop-up coming, going to bring in a few artists as well, Vegas, etc. cetera. Mm. Uh, bring in Alma, a few of the boys. Yeah, we're going to pop it off and make it nice, man. It's going to yeah. be a nice little achievement, I think. I love your crew. I love all the guys that are in it. They're all top draw. Yeah, no, they're happy, you know? good, happy guys, bro. Yeah. Wouldn't change them for the world, I'm they telling really you. They are happy guys. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Anything you want to say to the youngers, you know, I mean, people that are, want to be aspiring to be doing the exhibitions, want to be doing the, the corporates and the illegals and, the, and the, you know, the, the days out with a crew. Anything you want to... Just tell them, that. Just aim high, innit? It's, it's all possible. You've got to have confidence in yourself, but knowing that yourself is the worst critic as well. I mean... Yeah. I don't know. Good luck to him. Yeah. It's a little mission, isn't it? Make it your journey. It's all one big mission. Yeah, it? it's all one big mission. <laughs> when you get there at the end, they go, yeah, that was an achievement. Yeah, like, what is the end goal? It's a really dope... Is there quick, an end yeah, goal? Yeah, it doesn't really end. Like It's a loop. It's like a life of many deaths, and then when you <sighs> when you die, it's completion. Yeah, well, yeah. that's it. You want, a, you want some sort of legacy, in it? Yeah. Some sort of... No one wants to go with the thought of no one knowing them. I guess yeah. it's pretty, pretty of a downer thought, isn't it? Like, <laughs> no, no, but it's true because that's what it's all about. It's about contributing to modern day society, isn't it? In whatever form it is. Yeah, as long as you keep it positive. Do you know what I mean? We can all go down that dark vibe, but yeah, we all, we don't get nowhere with it. No. You know, you end up hating yourself for despising what you've done. So just oh, give off the good it, man. energy, man. Give off the positive energy and it should flourish back, man. Yeah, no one should be tormented by regret or ill feeling, man. It happens, though, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, you take a moment to think about that for, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. On that note, my friend, Atom in the building. Killer Killer Podcast. For absolute fucking pleasure. Peace out, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for that. Thanks for coming through. Thanks for the peace, man. If nah, you enjoy it, bro. Listening, go check it out. Enjoy yeah, man. It, it's going up in pride and place in the pod trap. Uh, Killer Killer Podcast. Out like in was out of fashion. You know what it is. Twice a week. It's what we're doing here. All right? You stay out of trouble. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Crime don't pay. Neither do they. Stay lucky, people. Peace. It's 